friends hello alert sites once again you are with ruchi jain welcome to my channel learn german the easy way here i am again with a new video which is on subordinating conjunction in german language ab now you must be wondering what does that mean okay so let me tell you in simple language i am going to explain in this video how we can use the words like when false so thus thus like that so we are going to learn lots of new things in this video are you ready hmm before going further let me uh, know whether have you subscribed this channel or not if you have not subscribed yet please think about it it may help you in long run so let's go ahead before going ahead let's first understand what does that mean in german we call it subjunction subjunction is known as subordinating conjunction in english grammatically it can be explained as a word which comes at the beginning of a subordinate clause and helps to explain its nature very simple words i hope this makes it clear what does that mean so let's see few examples and it will be much more clear let's go ahead now subjunction here we are taking six subjunction while da when false das so das while which means because da because since as where is there are different meanings at different places when which means when in english as soon as whenever if here again there are different meanings at different places depending on the context false which means in case das which means that so except so das which means so that there are many more uh, subjunction in but we are going to take only six here and in uh, in my next video you will be finding further more so let's first try to understand these common words and how to use them let's go ahead first one is while which means because the example here is i cannot come to the office today because i am sick in german we can translate it like this ich kann heute nicht zum büro kommen ich kann heute nicht zum büro kommen weil ich krank bin weil ish krank bin here you can see we have used the verb uh, we have kept the verb at the last position in the second sentence hmm? with while the verb goes at the end once again i am repeating the sentence ish kan heute nicht zum büro kommen weil ish krank bin the verb goes at the end and you need to have a comma before the word while that is how you will use it in a sentence let's go ahead let's see some more example now our second word is da which means also because let's see the example i can't come to work today because i am not feeling well now same uh, example we have taken again here just to show you just to make you understand that both of these words while and da both are having the same um, structure of the sentences let's see ich kann heute nicht zur arbeit kommen da ich nicht ich mich nicht wohl fühle ich kann heute nicht zur arbeit kommen da ich mich nicht wohl fühle because i am not feeling well that is the meaning da ich mich nicht wohl fühle 
again here you can see the verb position is at the end of the sentence in conjugated form according to the subject in the sentence which is ish and before the you need to have a comma so you need to remember these few things with while and with the both of them they are used interchangeably you can also use here while instead of the both have the same meanings and same uh, structure of the sentence so ish kan heute nicht zur arbeit kommen da ich mich nicht wohl fühle wohl fühlen which means to feel well let's go ahead the next word is when which means when in english or if let's see the example you can come with me if you want to do canst mit kommen when du lust hast du canst mit kommen when du lust hast here again you can see with when we have used the verb we have kept the verb at the end of the sentence and before when we have a comma in the sentence the first sentence uh, is du canst mit kommen comma when du lust hast so if is there uh, we have connected these two sentences using when i hope the structure of the sentence is clear now let's go ahead false in case which means in case let's see the example in case of rains we will go to cinema and watch the film in case of rains falls as regnet falls as regnet gehen wir ins kino und sehen den film falls as regnet gehen wir ins kino und sehen den film here again you can see with falls the verb goes at the end of the sentence and the main sentence how starts the main sentence is the second one here which is gain we are in ski noon zain den film i hope this sentence structure is clear to you let's go ahead das very commonly used uh, word to connect two sentences let's see the example i hope that i can pass the exam with good marks i hope that i can pass the exam with good marks let's see how to uh, translate it ich hoffe das ich die prüfung mit guten punkten bestehen kann ich hoffe das ich die prüfung mit guten punkten bestehen kann here you can see we have used das and the verb position is at the end of the sentence here two verbs are there why because we have used modal verb so we need to conjugate the modal verb and along with the modal verb we have to have uh, another verb uh, that is in infinitive form so here we have the infinitive form of the verb bestehen and the modal verb is at the end of the sentence in conjugated form according to the uh, pronoun or the subject in the sentence which is ish in this case and you need to have a comma before das so the sentence structure will be like this ich hoffe das ist die prüfung mit guten punkten bestehen kann let's go ahead the next word is so das which means so that let's see the example and try to understand it how to use so das i am going to the market so that i can buy the vegetables i am going to the market so that i can buy the vegetables let's see how to translate it ich gehe auf den markt comma so dass ich das gemüse kaufen kann ich gehe auf den markt so dass ich das gemüse kaufen kann again you can see after sodas 
the subject will come and the rest of the sentence and the verb will go at the end of the sentence uh, here we have again used modal verb that is why uh, we have conjugated modal, uh, modal verb and the main verb will, uh, will be in infinitive form that is kaufen so kaufen kan that is how we will use this word so das ich gehe auf den markt so das ich das gemüse kaufen kan i hope uh, it is very clear how to use these words i hope you have understood it thank you very much danke i hope you find this video very useful if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please do consider to subscribe it and do share with your friends do not forget to ring the bell thank you once again choose auf wiedersehen